Hello, good day and uh, welcome to Joso. My name is Edwin and today we'll be showing you how to use the network calculation feature on our survey master application. So do as to follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and of course on YouTube. Do as to subscribe to our channels. You can comment your suggestions about this video. You can like our post as well. You can share to your friends. Thank you very much and let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so for the exercise, we are going to be making use of our Sino Genesis T300 Plus receiver. And of course, we have our data logger here with us. So, the first thing we need to do is to create a job which we've already done on our project page. We are working on the network test. So, we've created the job already, we've selected our coordinate system. Uh, we've connected to our base station, which is our course which is our course station and as you can see we have a fixed solution so to carry out the exercise we we'll need to go to the tools page from there you see network calculation so click on network calculation now to carry out this exercise you need two basic things the first one is the surface which we are going to work on and the second one is our reference now there are three kinds of reference the first kind of reference is the elevation height here you just enter the height of the point where you want to the height of the elevation you want to use so then for the second kind of reference is the one you just you either select from the height you have on your data logger in your store your library your controller library or you can just pick a point on site to use as your reference then the third kind of reference is you select from the surface which you already have on the system so you can create a surface you can use the several points on your on ground to create the surface you can pick the points on site to create the surface so those are the, the references you can use so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a surface so to create a surface we'll go to topo survey so we'll go to topo survey now for our point we are going to use sp which is surface point sp1 as the point id so our height of receiver is at 1.8 so for the first point we'll take our receiver to where the here we want to pick the point and we'll click on major Okay, so for the second point we want to use okay then for the third point we are going to use to create our surface Okay, so we've measured four points on site. We are going to use those four points to create our surface. So we'll go back to network calculation. So go to surface, add a new surface. Our surface name will be road surface. So road surface then we'll go to add to add those points that we picked on site so sp1 sp2 xp3 and sp4 click on ok to add the points so click on preview so this is our points we'll click on save confirm so we'll click on save again now we are going to select the surface we are using 
now for the reference elevation we are going to be using this point as our reference elevation so meaning we want to bring the height of this surface that we measured to this height so we'll put our receiver here so we'll click on point reference reference points sorry we'll go to survey we we'll enter the name as reference points so we'll click on survey to measure the points click on ok so the height of our reference point is 6.199 so we'll go to we'll just click on compute now from the exercise so far we are working on the road surface so which is this surface that i'm standing on now now the point of the whole excess of this exercise is to actually know the amount of or the volume of sand it will take to bring the surface that we are standing on now to our reference surface if per adventure our reference surface was lower than the surface we are standing on it will tell us the amount of sand it will take that we will need to remove from the surface that we are standing or the surface that we are working on to get to the height that we want to get to so if you check the surface name we are using is the road surface our reference elevation is 6.199 which is the point we measured there we need to do we don't need to do excavation because the point we are working on is actually lower than the point we want the height we want to get so we need to do filling so with 14.504 cubic meters quantity we will be able to fill this point this surface to get to that level that we need and also the area of the surface the 2d and the 3d dimensional area is 47.817 for 2d and the 3d is 47.819 so if our adventure we do not want to use that surface area which is uh, the reference point which is 6.19 we want to enter a value by ourselves we'll go to reference elevation from there we'll enter let's say we want to bring down this surface down we we'll enter a value that is lower than what we already have so let's use four meters above we'll click on compute so now our reference elevation has reduced to four meters what we had before was 6.91 so now we have it at four meters so we would need to do excavation now excavation means we need to remove sand from this way from this surface that we are working on and the excavation quantity we need to do is at 90.669 so that is how to do earthwork calculation which is basically to calculate the amount of or the volume of sand it will need to bring a level to the a, a surface to the level we want or to reduce the surface to the level that we want using the excavation or the fill so basically excavation is for cutting while fill is for filling up so thank you very much and do have a wonderful day